The funeral of Chester Williams has taken place in South Africa. He was the only non-white member of the team that won the 1995 Rugby World Cup, a moment that symbolised the country's return to international sport. He died earlier this month at the age of 49. The BBC's Tim Mulman reports. Police outriders and a marching band. Full honours for a hero of his nation. This farewell for Chester Williams taking place at Newlands Stadium in Cape Town, where he had played so many times. A big crowd paying tribute, singing his name. And members of his family trying to deal with their loss. You are such an amazing person and nothing will be the same without you. You made the first 15 years of my life the best years that I'll ever experience. We gained an angel and I know you'll be looking down on me and keeping us all safe. Chester Williams made 27 test appearances for the Springboks, scoring 14 tries in his international career. He was part of the team that won the World Cup only a year after the end of apartheid. History for his sport and his country. He's a pioneer really and uh, a lot of kids, um, black kids and coloured kids would look up to Chester as a, a trailblazer, a person that used all his, um, his skills to, to the utmost and uh, made us so proud. After the service, his casket was taken away for a private cremation. Chester Williams was more than just a rugby player. As one former teammate said, he was an icon and a symbol of hope. Tim Allman, BBC News.